Hello and welcome to another edition of As the Blade Turns. I'm Dave Lees, and for those of you who are new here, please subscribe below and remember to smash that like button. Honored coach of Russia in figure skating, Eteri Tuberidza congratulated her daughter, Diana Davis, on her birthday. Davis performs in a dance duet with Gleb Smolkin. The figure skater turned 20 years old. Peace, light, health, good luck, dear. So that you are happy, I pray the sky. I will always be there, hugging my soul. Happy birthday, Disha. I love you, wrote Tuberidza. Meanwhile, the Russian press jumped quickly on the last edition of As the Blade Turns and posted that also that Diana and Davis and Gleb Smolkin are considering joining the Israeli Federation because it is something that's been known within Russian circles for some time. Our sport posted within an hour of As the Blade Turns being posted. Russian figure skaters Diana Davis and Gleb Smolkin are considering moving to the Israeli national team. It is reported by Our Sport, citing a source familiar with the situation. No specific agreements have been reached yet. It is noted that the final decision will be made based on the political situation in the world. Davis and Smolkin train in the USA with Alexei Kilyakov. This season, they did not compete in domestic competitions due to problems with their partner's American documents. What is interesting is that both the Russian and Israeli skating federations have replied, and while no one is actually lying, the full story remains untold. The topic of the transfer in Davis and Mulkin was not even raised. These are all assumptions of the media that disseminate unconfirmed infor information, the Russian Figure Skating Federation said. The Israeli Skating Federation commented on the information about the transition of Davis and Smolkin. We know exactly as much about the situation with these athletes as you do. By the way, our federation itself does not invite skaters, only if they apply. And we are negotiating only with athletes and coaches who have Israeli citizenship, said Boris Chait, director of the Israeli Federation. Earlier, Boris Spolkin, Gleb's father, said that the skater is not an Israeli citizen. The father of figure skater Gleb Smolkin, who dances on the ice with Diana Davis, commented on the information about the athlete's plans to join the Israeli national team. He is not an Israeli citizen. He is a Russian citizen. I don't know what sports citizenship is, but you have to be a citizen of this country. There is no other way. I don't know what you read. I guess that you read some kind of yellow press and feed out information from there. Well, right, well, what are we going to discuss with you? Boris Smolkin said. When asked if Gleb Smolkin had plans to change citizenship, the skater's father replied, Probably. You need to ask him. What is incredible about all of this is that, of course, Gleb Smolkin is not an Israeli citizen. Yet. It is important to note that you can hold Russian and Israeli dual citizenship. You can also hold American and Israeli dual citizenship. It's important to remember that Gleb Smolkin, who lives in Virginia, applied for permanent resident status, and the Israeli Federation is run out of the ice rink in Montclair, New Jersey, where they were monitored by Sean Redstat, along with Alexei Kilyakov's other students, including his son, who is currently the Israeli national champion in ice dance. This entire situation hinges on a decision being made about Russia's participation in international sports. If Russia is held out another season, it is believed that they would make the move. Should Russia be allowed back in to international sports, it would presumably be easier to move back to Russia from the Israeli Federation than from the United States, which is known to do everything possible to slow the release of its top skaters. The citizenship would be on Gleb's side, as he has Jewish lineage. Diana, who wears large glittery crosses like her mother, would get citizenship by being married to Gleb, which they did in Las Vegas prior to the world's last season. Terry really is the Kris Jenner of figure skating. And though Israeli citizenship is not the easiest to get, it is easier to obtain than American citizenship in time for an Olympics, in some cases. Alison Reed almost got citizenship for Israel, but she decided against marrying her partner for the purpose of going to an Olympic Games. Alison represented Israel at the World Championships, where you do not need to be a citizen of a country to participate and represent it. She represented Georgia at the 2010 Olympic Games and currently skates for Lithuania, where she was unable to obtain citizenship in time for the 2022 Olympics. 
Her siblings, Chris and Kathy, represented Japan for many years. The Reeds were born in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and resided in New Jersey for many years. Isabella Tobias and Ilya Chachenko won Israel's spot in ice dance for the 2018 Olympic Games. They did not represent Israel at the Olympics because Ilya was not able to obtain citizenship. And though the ice dance community still whispers about why, no official reason was ever published. Adele Tankova and Ronald Zilberg represented Israel at those Olympic Games. They were coached by Galit Chait, whose father Boris runs the federation. It is also believed that Annabelle Morozov, whose father Nikolai had also contacted U.S. figure skating after a Terry Tudbaridza already had this summer, would potentially skate for France, as she has French citizenship as well. That is, of course, if Russia remains out of competition and if her father can manage to arrange for a partner who will stay the course. It is also possible that a large Russian diaspora would commence for those skaters not tied down to the Russian Figure Skating Federation. Athletes like Adelia Petrosian could presumably compete for Armenia. Well, as usual, the Russian Gaslighting Committee was contacted without haste. Honored coach of the USSR in figure skating, Tatiana Tarasova, spoke about the possible transition of the Russian team of Diana Davis and Gleb Smolkin to the Israeli national team. Many change citizenship. We are now in a difficult situation. Everyone decides for himself where to live and where to develop in his profession. I don't condemn it. It seems to me that Davis and Smolkin will lose from leaving the Russian team. They could be the first couple in the national team, and this is quite serious. But I will note that the Israeli national team has excellent coaches. My student Galit Chait works very well and noticeably there, said Tarasova, who did visit her student Galit Chait this summer, a few weeks after Diana did. I don't make decisions. Athletes have parents. They decide for themselves. I believe that the decision will be considered by them. Can this phenomenon become widespread? In my opinion, maybe we are still kept in a starvation diet and not allowed to participate in international competitions. Sport Express quotes Tarasova. Choreographer Bettina Popova spoke about the possible transition of the Russian duo Diana Davis and Gleb Smolkin to the Israeli national team. The guys themselves had not yet announced anything. It is wrong to discuss this based on rumors. Then they were prophesied to perform for the national team of the U.S. for a long time. Now it is Israel. When there is news, then it's worth starting to discuss, Popova said. Well, that has not stopped anyone else from talking in the history of figure skating, and in this case, not even Renat Lyshev, who is usually a Terry Tuberidze's staunchest defender. Sambo 70 president Renat Lyshev spoke about the possible transfer of the Russian dance duo Diana Davis and Gleb Smolkin to the Israeli team. Regarding our country, this is incorrect. All transitions are a PR campaign. They will regret that they abandoned their country in difficult times. We feel sorry for all the guys in whom the country invested in youth sports and so on, gave strength and energy, Lyshev said. In principle, the bench of talented athletes in our country is such that we are all right with this. Lyshev answered on the question of how the departure of Davis and Smolkin would affect the Russian team. Journalist Yelena Vaitsohovskaya shared her opinion on the situation in Russian ice dance. At the beginning of this season, when conversations about a possible change of citizenship by Diana Davis and Gleb Spolkin only began to arise, the potential loss of this couple for the country did not look critical at all. Elizaveta Hurabidieva and Yegor Bazin had not yet encountered serious problems related to the health of their partner. Annabel Morozov and David Narizhny looked like quite worthy competitors to the leaders, and of course were able to take the first place, while well, Vasilisa Kaganovskaya and Valery Angelopol gained momentum so rapidly that it was right to just reserve a place for them on the podium of any Russian competition. In a word, there were three duets available that could grow very powerfully. Now, if you call a spade a spade, a black hole has appeared in Russian dance, and figure skaters may have to get out of it for more than one season. Now, that's for sure. Theoretically, Davis and Smolkin could become a powerful locomotive in Russian dances, capable of dragging the entire cast along with them, not relying on whether Alexandra Stepanova and Ivan Bukin would return to the sport or not. 
the practice shows that nowadays everyone prefers to save themselves alone. And it's hardly worth reproaching the skaters for the fact that in order to preserve their own sports life, they're ready to seize on any chance, Vaitsohovskaya wrote. Honored coach of Russian ice dance and Tuburidza ally Alexander Zhulin spoke about the possible transition of the Russian duo Diana Davis and Gleb Smolkin to the Israeli team. Given that everything is very difficult with world competitions now, and the couple definitely wants to compete at the European and World Championships, I would not blame them for such a step. There is a strong federation. Israel is a good country. It will be necessary to see how they will add, said Julin. State Duma Deputy Roman Terushkov spoke about the possible transition of the Russian dance duo Diana Davis and Gleb Smolkin to the Israeli team. They are not members of the Russian national team. By birth, one of the participants in the couple is a U.S. citizen. The couple lives and trains there. For them, sport is a private business. Judging by the statements of these athletes, skating for years inside Russia is not attractive for them. They do not want to live and work in our country. Knowing all these circumstances, I see no reason to discuss their thoughts and actions. They did not speak out against Russia, so let them skate anywhere. The last decades of athletes, and we all have been convinced that athletes have been preparing for years to perform at the Olympic Games. Many people took this stable Western message at face value, but it has a logical continuation for any citizen of their country. This is a speech not for what is written on your back, but what for what is on your chest, on your heart. You can only speak with the flag and coat of arms representing the interests of your country, not your family. After the beginning of the NWO in the minds of each of us, this statement already sounds uncompromisingly. Those who have not realized this will have to toil for years between the national federations of unfriendly countries in search for happiness. But he won't be there. Happiness is only in the motherland, said Tarushkov. Figure skating coach Ina Goncharenko commented on the news about the possible transition. The Israeli national team decided that they have more qualified coaches and the preparation could be better for the pair of Smolkin and Davis. In general, the Israeli team loves when their athletes train in the USA. They have an established practice. I think everyone does it there. This should be asked from the representatives of the Israeli team so that there is no misunderstanding. What will we say for other teams? And the fact that Smolkin and Davis were going to change the federation was clear from the beginning of the season. They did not come from the test skates, the Russian championships. Everything was immediately clear. Of course, this is very disappointing because they were given preferences for selection to the national team and they were sent to the Olympics, all other things being equal. But now we see such a situation. It is very sad, Goncharenko said. It's interesting that Goncharenko implied that they were given favorable selection to the Olympic Games, which was, of course, rumored and discussed and complained about all of last season. Diana Davis has thanked everyone for her birthday wishes. She has not denied the reports that she plans to skate for Israel. Happy birthday, Disha. European and champion in ice dancing, Sergei Nowitzki, appreciated the information about the possible transition of Diana Davis and Gleb Smolkin to the Israeli team. It's hard for me to judge. Their desire is understandable. They want to take part in major international competitions, in the Olympic Games, World and European Championships, Grand Prix stages. But as a part of the Russian national team, Smolkin and Davis today, unfortunately, cannot do this. No matter how anyone treats this, the desire of the athletes is understandable. From a purely human point of view, I understand Gleb and Diana, Novitsky said. I don't think that even if Smolkin and Davis get the opportunity to compete for Israel, other strong Russian skaters will follow them. If one of them really wanted to change citizenship, they would have done it a long time ago. Still, the suspension from all tournaments under the auspices of the ISU lasts almost a year. At the same time, no one keeps the guys in the country by force. It is clear that everyone dreams of returning to the international arena, but the moment for departure, I think, has been lost, Novitsky said. Figure skaters Arena Kavronna and David Narizhny formed a dance duo, Our Sport Reports, citing a source familiar with the situation. Kavronna and Narizhny will train in the Denis Simulkin group. Elizaveta Hudarudieva and Yegor Bazin also train in this group. 
Nerizhny previously performed with Annabelle Borozov and Elizaveta Shinieva. Since 2018, Kavronina has been paired with Dario Cherizano, but in January of this year, their duet broke up. Figure skater David Nerizhny performing a night's dancing left the group of Arena Zhuk and Alexander Svinin. This was reported by the coaches themselves. Information has come out today that Nerizhny plans to team up with Irina Kavronina. Previously, he performed in a duet with Annabelle Morozov and Elizaveta Shinieva. David confronted us today with the fact that he is leaving and intends to continue training in the group of Denis Simokin, said Zhukin Svinin. Now this is fascinating, as Denis Simokin, who coaches Elizaveta and Huda Bedieva, and Igor Bazin is a known enemy of Zhukin Svinin in the cutthroat world of Russian ice dance. Oh, as the blade turns. As one skater familiar with the situation broke it down for me, David Nerizhny is now skating with Ina Kavronina. She used to skate with Dario Chirizano. Arena and Dario were coached by Gorshkov, and then they became coached by Arena Zhuk and Alexander Svenin when they made that coaching alliance for Stepanova and Bukin to try to beat Sinitsyn and Katsalapov. That's when Nikolai Morozov got in the picture. Denis Simokin is now the new coach of the new team, Arena and David. Denis Simokin coaches Hudarbidieva and Bazin. Now it is known within circles that Simokin and Zhuk dislike each other a lot and frequently trade students. Journalist Yelena Vaitsohovskaya spoke about the creation of a dance duet of Arena Karonina and David Nerizhny. Nerizhny previously performed with Annabelle Morozov. Kavrona was paired with Dario Trizano. I don't pretend to be right, but it seems to me a kind of nonsense when two weaker partners break up their strong couples in order to skate together. But love is evil. That the situation would develop in this way was quite predictable. The only pity is that Dario Trizano is not a suitable partner for Annabelle Morozov. An interesting castling could turn out, Vaitsohovskaya wrote. Olympic champion in ice dancing Natalia Besmianova appreciated the decision of Arena and David to form a dance duet and train under the guidance of Denis Simokin. It's a very strange and sad decision that Kavrona and Nerizhny left their coaches. I assumed that they would pair up, but I didn't think that they would leave Zhukin Svinin or Alexei Gorshkov. It seemed to me that they would go either to one or the other group. But this is their decision. They want to work. Do something. Good luck to them. What can I say? When there is competition in the group, it is always good. It will have a positive effect on whoever Diva and Bazin, said Besmianova. Choreographer Bettina Popova, who doesn't like to talk about things until they're official, commented on the information that Evrina Kavronina and David Nerizhny formed a dance duo. The skaters will work under De- Denis Simokin. Definitely, for Elizaveta and Yegor, it will be a great sparring. As for the guys themselves, time will tell, but it will not be easy for them. They both left the headquarters in which they trained from childhood. They have different techniques, as the process of sliding down is not an easy thing at all. But they made such a choice, which means they are ready for such difficulties and are ready to walk this path together, said Popova. Russian figure skaters Irina Kavronina and David Nerizhny held their first training session in Denis Simokin's group. Earlier it became known that they formed a dance duet. They have already taken to the ice, started to work. They haven't skated together yet. Ira was sick, she is still recovering, but the doctors have already allowed training. Gradually, they will retract and do not give large loads. They are just trying to skate with each other. They look good. They are two strong athletes technical athletes, well suited to each other. I hope they make a good couple. The group was even glad that we had new athletes. We discussed this in advance. We took the news with a bang because it is always difficult for one and it will be much better in sparring. So everything is positive, said Samokin. The ISU requested from Rusada a copy of the reasoning part of the decision in the case of Valjeva. The ISU has requested a copy of the reasoning part of the decision in the case of Russian figure skater Kamila Valjeva. 
Earlier, it became known that the Disciplinary Anti-Doping Committee of RUSADA found Valjeva not guilty of violating anti-doping rules. At the same time, the figure skater's victory at the 2022 Russian Championship was cancelled. The ISU has requested a copy of the full reasoning part of the decision, which it will review carefully, and it reserves the right to appeal to the Court of Arbitration for Sport if necessary, the ISU said. On Monday, January 16th, it became known that 19-year-old Alyona Kosternaya switched from singles to pair skating, from Elena Buyanova to pair skating specialist Sergei Rosliakov. As Rosliakov explained to TASS, the further cooperation with the athlete will be discussed after her return from vacation. According to Kosternaya, I always liked pair skating. All these throws, lifts, and twists are breathtaking. I always watched it with admiration. And the life of an athlete, at some point, you always have to make a choice when you realize that something needs to be changed. Sometimes it's switching from one coach to another, and sometimes it's switching to another discipline. I am no exception in this regard. She really isn't. Think about all of her coaching changes. By the way, Tuberidza is a pair coach. I digress. It's September of 2022. The figure skater underwent hip surgery. Surgical intervention became necessary due to the recurrence of past injuries and the rupture of an articular labrum. After the surgery, I had a lot of time to think. I decided to try myself in pair skating. At first, it was more for the show. But now, I don't want to get ahead of myself, and I don't know what will happen next. Well, I'm on vacation. I'll be back, and we'll decide what to do next. Of course, we have plans to compete. But time will tell whether I succeed in their implementation. Yes, after the surgery, there were many fears. Georgi Kunitsa and Sergei Roslyakov often stop me, but in general, there is practically no pain. If I start to feel discomfort, we change the exercise or do not do it. Of course, each new element is a risk, but we are going gradually. We started with lifts and simple elements. They turned up almost immediately. Then we started to complicate the elements. I can already do 75% of the lifts. Triple throws. So far, only a double twist. And death spirals I can do. The most difficult thing for me was doing steps in a pair. It's not easy to do them with another person. Sergei Sergeyevich and I didn't really talk about big sport. He has a lot of pairs that could be superstars in the future. So nothing changes from my presence at his training. In Rosliakov's group, Kostrnaya and Kunitsa work with Bettina Popova, a former ice dancer who thought it was unsuitable to talk about Diana and Davis and Gleb Smolkin, switching to Israel until something official is announced. According to Kostrnaya, Bettina is cool. We communicated with her even when she was skating herself. She instructs well and clearly. She explains, first of all, as an athlete. In addition, she is very positive and always says that training should be interesting and with a bit of humor. I have the same position on this matter. Things you do should bring joy. I get pleasure from life, moving forward, overcoming myself, every new element. I am driven by interest. What can I achieve? How many obstacles can I overcome? And with this thought, I will fight to the end. Press attache of the Russian Figure Skating Federation, Olga Yermolina, commented on the information about the transition of Olyana Kostrnaya to pair skating. Kostrnaya will be paired with Georgi Kunitsa. In the case of the transition to pair skating, do you need appropriate notifications to the Federation? And did such notification come from Olyona? If they want to skate in the show, then notifications are not needed. If you continue your sports career, you must inform the Federation. So far, there have been no official statements, Yerbalina said. Well, of course there have been no official statements. We just heard that Kostanaya is going to determine this when she comes back from vacation. People are always asking the Federation for comments way too early. Director General of the Russian Figure Skating Federation, Alexander Kogan, confirmed the information about Alyana Kostanaya's transition to pair skating. Kostanaya plans to perform in a pair with Georgi Kunitsa. Information about her transition to a pair exists, but no statements have been received from her to the Federation, Kogan said. We wish Alyona good luck in all of her endeavors. The main thing is that she works and is healthy, Task quotes Kogan. 
honored coach of Russia in figure skating, Elena Boyanova, announced that she had completed work with the 2020 European champion, Oyana Kosternaya, due to the athlete's transition to pair skating. Kosternaya was transferred to Boyanova from Ateri Tuberidza in March 2022. In September, the figure skater underwent hip surgery, after which she tried herself in pair skating in a duet with Georgi Kunitsa in a show format. I let her go a long time ago because she started tumbling with these paired elements. I told her that there was no need to contact me about the pair. And they went to Sergei Roslyakov. He called me, to which I replied, if she wants to do pair skating, let her do it. In general, Alyona chose pair skating, said Buyanova. Two months ago, Alyona, preparing for the show, worked with pair elements, and I asked, why? It's dangerous. And when I realized that she wants to go into pairs, I set her a condition, either training in a show and preparing for next season, or pair elements. She chose the second. I explained that she may have health problems, Task quotes the coach. Helena Buyanova was unhappy with the activities of Oyona Kostrunaya, being paired with Georgi Kunitsa, and repeatedly talked with the skater, suspecting her imminent departure from the group. It was reported by Sport Express. The conversations had no effect, and the party ceased cooperation. Choreographer Bettina Popova confirmed the information that Oyana Kostrunaya switched to pair skating. Kostrunaya plans to perform a duet with Georgi Kunitsa. Popova is working with Sergei Ozlyakov's group, where the new couple will train. Yes, they are in our group. Gosha rode with us. He and Oyana decided to perform in ice shows to prepare pair elements so they didn't just go out in public. They went to us. They are very good at skating together. So far, we do not know how much it is worth talking about the future because Oyana is still recovering from an injury, an operation. But they performed in the format of ice shows and they managed to master a lot of pair elements, throws, twists. Oyana learns quickly because a talented person is talented in everything. So far, the guys are resting after the ice shows. Will they compete this season? If you really want to, you can fly into space. But it's too early to talk about anything, Popova said. Honored coach of the USSR in figure skating, Tatiana Tarasova commented on the news of Alyana Kostrunaya's transition to pair skating. I think that she went to learn pair elements and will work in the show. She loves to perform there. Get it? Everyone will be happy. This is a move to learn pair elements and work in the show together with a partner, said Tarasova. Now, it is interesting that Tarasova does not seem to know more as she was close with Elena Buyanova for many years. Yet she is now strong allies with the Terry Tuberidza, a known personal and professional rival of Elena Buyanova. Coach Sergei Roslyakov spoke about Alyona Kostrnaya's transition to pair skating. We prepared the guys for the show, prepared pair elements with Alyona and Gosha. We have not n- discussed further plans. They skated in a series of winter shows, and now they flew away to rest. They will return. We will talk, Rosliakov said. Nothing has been officially announced yet. Now it's difficult to say how the work will be built. First, you need to sit down, discuss plans. Do we have any common interests, for example? When the guys return from vacation, we will sit down and talk. While it's too early to talk about something, as such, a decision has not yet been made. The guys left to rest after a series of shows. They will return. We will discuss whether we can work together. Sport Express coaches the quote. Honored coach of Russia, Alexander Zhulin, assessed the chances of Oyana Kostrnaya's success in pair skating. It's hard to say. I'm not such a big expert. She has a chance to take place in the pairs. Of course, she owns all the triple jumps. If her partner also owns all the triple jumps, then the only question is how fast they roll. It will be interesting, Shulin said. Producer Yana Rukovskaya, who was recently sanctioned by Ukraine, spoke about Alyona Kostrnaya's transition to pair skating. I wish Alyona only success. I talked to her just before the new year. She already showed pair elements at our shows. It is a pity that she will not continue her sports career in singles because she's a very talented figure skater. But there is one point. Seeing how our juniors are developing, the competition for the next season will be fierce, and juniors have been transferred to senior skating. Competing and taking fifth or seventh places 
is not in the interest of the European champion. The case is unique in that Aljona has achieved a lot in figure skating. She is known, loved, and she became the European champion and the champion of the Grand Prix final. It seems to me that if she succeeds in pair skating, it will be interesting. When people finish after the Olympics and don't skate, it's very sad. But when people try something new, it causes respect. Therefore, I want Aljona to succeed. We have three couples who have been training since May. They all showed good results in half a year. They became winners of the Grand Prix stages. We are closely following pair skating. In the case of Aljona, you have to work very hard. It's one thing to say, another thing to do. Aljona is a very good girl. She skates very beautifully. Such a talent should not be wasted. The solution is interesting and correct. We will help and support her, said Rukovskaya. Now, it's interesting that Rukovskaya is calling Aljona a good girl, saying that she skates very beautifully, but she is saying that talent shouldn't be wasted because, remember, Rukovskaya previously complained about having ice for Aljona and private ice when she just wouldn't show up to practice. Now, it was rumored that she was injured, but Rukovskaya wanted to charge her before some sort of settlement was understood with the Russian Figure Skating Federation. Bronze medalist of the 2015 World Championship, choreographer Elena Regionova, empress, actress of the Titanic, reacted to Aljona Kostronaya's transition to pair skating. It came as no surprise to me. She's been talking about this for a long time. It can be seen that she caught fire in pair skating. I want to wish her good luck in the new direction. She's a very talented athlete, but of course it will be difficult. They come to the rink from an early age and learn these elements for years. She will not have as much time as her rivals to learn all the elements. But knowing Aljona's perseverance and craving for something new, she can learn quite quickly. Therefore, she can have a good future in pair skating, said Rodionova. Olympic champion in ice dancing, Natalia Vesmianova, spoke about the transition of European champion Aljana Kostrnaya to pair skating. If it works, there will be prospects. It would have been the same in singles if it worked properly. Our couples are strong, as are the single skaters, so we need to work hard and purposely, said Besmianova. Three-time Olympic champion Irina Rodnina spoke about Aljana Kostrnaya's transition to pair skating. You have to see who she skates with and what it looks like. I don't know her partner. This is a fairly frequent and natural process when skaters move from single to pair skating. There are many such examples. I really love how Irina Rodnina never knows about anything but comments about everything with confidence and intelligence. Oyona has always been my favorite. She stood out. She was very harmonious on the ice with a good figure and technique. She is very bright. I hope that Aljona will be able to realize this in pair skating. In singles, she left her mark, said Ronina. The bronze medalist of the 2019 World Championship in pair skating, Alexander Enbert, spoke about her transition to pairs. We can only wish you success and wait for the results. As an expert in pair skating, I will expect interesting programs and good results. I think Aljona is able to achieve success. Aljona is suitable for pair skating, both in height and in character. She is absolutely fearless. Katerina Gerbolt and I started pair skating. She switched from single skating at the age of 20. We started skating because we hoped that we could achieve good results, and Tamara Moskvina supported us in this. Katerina and I became an international master of sports in pair skating. This, is, of course, is not an Olympic medal, but it still says something. So I think Aljona, of course, has a chance. You can't say that at some point of no return has been passed. I saw how a former single skater at the age of 20 did excellent triple twists, throws, and support, said Enbert. Former figure skater Katerina Gerbolt spoke about the transition. Given my own experience, I would say that it is possible. She switched from couples at the age of 21, and it seemed crazy. Nevertheless, if Aljona has a goal and a desire to prove something to someone and work harder than ever in her life, that everything will work out. If she is guided by emotions, then it is harder to believe in her success. Aljana Kostrnaya is very talented. She has ambitions. I believe something could work very well, and it could come out of this transition, Gerbolt said. Now, it's interesting that Kostrnaya is on vacation with her partner. 
and Gerbolt is asking if she's being guided by emotions. Well, we know that Eliana Kosternaya is capable of switching coaches. I think she may have it in her to switch partners. If Eliana Kosternaya is in pair skating, she is most certain to be more interesting than Tarasova Morozov. The International Olympic Committee has announced that all media rights in Europe for the four Olympic Games from the 2026 to 2032 period have been awarded to the European Broadcasting Union and Warner Brothers Discovery. The deal marks a return for EBU, an alliance of public service media organizations in Europe, who had first broadcast the Olympic Games in 1956. This deal is said to be worth $1.5 billion. For comparison, NBC paid $7.75 billion for their period of 2021 through 2032. For this latest deal, the EBU and Warner Brothers Discovery presented a joint bid to acquire all media rights across 49 territories in Europe for the 2026 Winter and 2028 Summer Olympic Games. It also includes the 2032 Olympic Games in Brisbane and the 2030 Winter Edition, which is yet to be awarded. It also covers the Youth Olympic Games during the period. Starting in 2026, the EBU will hold free-to-air rights on television and digital platforms. This agreement covers France and the United Kingdom, which had previously negotiated their own rights agreements. But Russia, which was also not a part of the 2015 deal, are not included this time, along with Belarus, as they are currently suspended by the EBU. I'm delighted that we have been able to secure the media rights for the next four editions of the Olympic Games on behalf of our public service media members, EBU Director General Noel Coran said. It means we can guarantee everyone everywhere has access to the sports they love, wherever they are, and whenever they want to watch, free to air, until 2032. We believe the greatest sporting moments shouldn't just be available to those who can afford to pay to view. Over two-thirds of sports fans don't have access to premium sports channels, meaning they're excluded. And that's why public service media is the natural home for Olympic sports. Every EBU member will broadcast more than 200 hours of coverage of the Olympic Summer Games and at least 100 hours of the Olympic Winter Games on television with a broad range of radio coverage, live streaming, and reporting across web, app, and social media platforms. We are delighted to have reached a long-term agreement with two of the world's leading media companies, said IOC President Thomas Bach. It demonstrates the ongoing appeal of the Olympic Games across Europe. As the IOC redistributes 90% of the revenues it generates, this long-term agreement also provides critical financial stability to the wider sporting movement and ultimately supports the athletes themselves. Deputy Dmitry Savishev commented the news that Russia did not receive the right to broadcast the Olympic Games between 2026 and 2032. Without the participation of Russian athletes, the acquisition of rights to broadcast the Olympic Games does not make any sense. These funds are better directed to the development of the industry within the country, import substitution, and who will be interested in watching competitions without the participation of their heroes? If, as a result, our athletes are allowed to compete at the Olympic Games, then the IOC should provide for such an option and make exceptional conditions so that our viewers can see the victories of Russian athletes, said the chairman of the State Duma Committee on Physical Culture and Sports. Olympic champion in ice dancing Roman Kostomarov remains in a medically induced coma. This was announced by a friend of Kostomarov, two-time world champion Maxim Stavisky. We are all rooting for him. I am sure that he will cope, that he will get out of this difficult situation. Roman is a strong person. He has a strong body. There are no major changes in his condition. He remains in a medically induced coma. Some things are positive, some are not. Sometimes you have to read news from trusted sources about a dramatic deterioration in his health, when in fact it is not. Each time it is a blow to his loved ones. Roma and I will still skate, Stavisky said. Earlier, Kostomarov was hospitalized with pneumonia. He is reported to be in critical condition. Caitlin Hawaiik and John Luke Baker withdrew from the U.S. Nationals to prioritize their mental and physical health. Ice dancers Caitlin Hawaiik and John Luth Baker withdrew from next week's U.S. Figure Skating Championships because of a series of injuries that they said led to challenges with their mental health. In a statement, Caitlin Hawaiik and John Luke Baker said that it was in their best interest to prioritize their mental and physical health rather than competing at nationals, but they intend to petition for a spot 
on the 2023 World Championship team. Over the past 18 months, our team has dealt with significant physical injuries that have led to challenges in our mental health, and we feel it is in our best interest to prioritize this currently, said the athletes.